Okay guys, today is laundry day. I have my laundry outside because it's a nice day. And I have my homemade pole that I showed you a few years ago on how to make. Oh, homemade drying rack and I have two bags of different hangers. Regular hanger type and the clip type for undergarments and pants and such. And I have an open area here. So. Am I going to use my base camp washer? It's unlikely because it's broken. It quit working one day. Am I going to use my little power wash, wash and dry clean machine? No, I have a good bit of laundry to do. Am I going to use this ringer with it? No, I don't have to. <clears throat> Am I going to use my Nina Soft spinner from Laundry Alternative? This thing is excellent. I highly, highly recommend this. However, let's go over here. In this box right here is another laundry alternative. I will pull it out and show you. Okay, so here is another box from Laundry Alternative. What's in it, you might want to know? Well, I will show you. This is what's in it. Yay! Okay, set that aside. What is this? You might ask, what is this? Is this what you think it is? Super Compact Automatic Washer. Oops, look how cool this is. Wow, that looks like a real washing machine. This is awesome. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the manual, pull this out, and let's uh, take a look at it, see how it works. Actually, I think you just pull the box over it. Yep. With one hand. Specs on the back. Let's turn it around and get a good look at it. I do with the camera. Look at this. Wash, rinse, and spin. Low, medium, and high. Cycle press. Progress, I mean. Cycle progress. So, isn't this cool? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. I'm impressed with this thing. Okay, so um, I'm going to read the manual and then we'll get started. This is awesome. Okay, instead of a tie down strap, this came with a um, Velcro strap, which is better, and a plastic cap. I'm not sure what that's for yet. We'll find out. Here's one of the ports right here where I assume you put the drain into. 
and I have to fix that because that came apart in shipping, but that's no biggie, that's easy to fix. And the drain hose is right here. I can figure it all out here and put this on the bottom. The instructions are right there. So we will do that first. And unfortunately it says not to use on carpeted surfaces, which <clears throat> my outdoor area does have carpeting, but I could actually pull that back. I'm also trying to figure out the purpose of this. Okay, so let's flip this baby over and see what we have here. Has a little bit of a weight to it. Oh, look at all that packing material in it. Ouch. Not all the packing material will stay. Don't want packing material on the belt. So this gives you a good view of what it looks like before I put the bottom cover on. This is pretty neat machine, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to put the bottom on do this. Okay, it slides up into these grooves. There we go. It goes like that. And... I guess, it, I guess I just break these off and it pops in. I'm not sure how that works. It has little wheels on it too. More packing material. Huh. How did those go in? Did they just go in like this? Or did they just come off? Oh, I see. There's little screw holes there for those. Okay. Well, for now, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll get those off in a little bit. I'm supposed to use it on carpeting because it has an intake of air from the bottom and you don't want to get carpet fibers in it. Okay, so the back top is the water inlet, which you connect the hose to. The hose actually tells you which end to connect it to. Okay, I'm fighting with myself here. Okay. And this other end has a quick connect. So I have to get my water hose, because I'm going to try to wash outside. And get my water hose and see if I can figure out how to put this on the water hose. Since I'm doing this outside, and I wanted to attach it to a regular water hose, I had to take the quick connect part off and then just attach this piece to this. I imagine this is um, made, the other connector is made for sinks, sink faucets and such. So that'll lock the water down when I turn it on. And this is the quick connect piece. Okay, we're going to test this baby out. Okay, from what I read, you do not 
put any laundry pods in this because that would be way too much excessive soap. And of course you don't want to overload this and make it unbalanced either. So I'm going to put some laundry in here. I just don't want to overload it. I think I could put a couple more items in there. Okay, so now my laundry is inside the washing machine. Close the lid, everything's hooked up. The water is hooked up over here. The power is hooked up over here. And we will go ahead. Too cute. Okay, I wanna go for medium. Water level. Program is wash, rinse, and spin. So I'll go ahead and start. Oh my God, that scared me. <laughs> it's filling with water. It has a little alarm. So you have to let it fill. And I always put my soap in after it fills. Okay, it's filling. How cool is this? This is so awesome. Wow. Is Stop opening me. Let's see how much water is in here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, put my detergent in. You don't need very much. And I'm gonna, even though it has a rinse cycle, I'm gonna go ahead and put my fabric softener in now. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. And I will send you a link to Laundry Alternatives. This is so awesome. Whew, sure takes a lot of the work away from using the other apparatuses I was using. Now the thing to check is to be sure it's not leaking anywhere, and it's not. And my connection down here is not leaking. Okay, and here's the manual before using blah 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 all the parts, describing everything, the precautions, symbol definitions, of course all the precautions, you know, just it's all about safety. And you want to make sure all your pockets are cleaned out. You don't want to use abrasive detergents. Okay, so here's tap selections. Preparations before washing. Yeah, before washing, check your pockets. Usually what I leave in my pockets are clean nexus and that's always a lovely mess. <laughs> and the capacity is 7.4 pounds, so do not overload it. If you overload it, it will not work efficiently. And here's the specs on detergents. So, think green. I need to buy uh, environmentally friendly soaps. And here's more information here. Control panel instructions. And I found all you have to do is just wipe your hand over that lightly. You don't have to push those. And what else? Okay, now it talks about Operation steps, maintenance. Of course, you can pause this and read this if you want. And then, of course, your troubleshooting section. It's windy out here. And that's it. Model specifications, which you might want to see. Okay, other functions. Again, you can pause to read. I'll go back in closer and go down. You can pause to read all that. Okay, now it's going into spin cycle, rinse cycle. So it's emptying the 
laundry water out. I should have did this in a bucket so I could see how dirty the water got. Didn't think about that. Focus. You can hear how quiet it is. Okay, so this is what this little plug's for, this hole. How do you do it? Go this way. This way. Okay, go up. Oops. There we go. It's on there now. Cool. Little lizards will be playing in my machine. Another feature that it has are adjustable feet. So you can level this machine with. Okay, the rinse cycle is going through now. See, I probably put a little bit too much soap in there. Either that or that's the uh, softener coming out. A little bit bubbly. A little bit on the blue side too. So all you have to do is just use a tiny amount of soap. So it's sucking out all the water. And then it's going to go into spin. There we go, it's in spin now. Great! Oh. Roper Hush. You'll have to send him a big thank you. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. So you're going to put that on your... Oh. Yeah, I'm doing it now. Good, good. Wow. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. Oh my gosh. That's oh. the alarm. <laughs> well, that's a big container. You can't put too many in it because it'll cause too much weight. But oh, how nice. Wow. No, I probably made it mad. <laughs> <laughs> it, it'll, it'll start. It's going back wow. in. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. Now all I have to do is get one of these things and I can uh, hand wash my clothes uh -huh. and put them out. Uh -huh. That's beautiful. This is my neighbor Patty. Hi. <laughs> and I'm going to let her use it. She'll also <laughs> give you her review of it. <laughs> and we're done. It even actually sang a little tune when it finished. How cute. Okay, here's my clothes. My underwear and stuff like this going inside the house. That turned out nice and white. That turned out nice and clean. So this time I put two pair of jeans, a little another tank top, and some more socks and underwear. So cute. I just opened it during the wash cycle so you could see how much dirt is in my laundry. So this is doing a nice job. So I've been taking my time to do this review because I wanted to learn it as I went along. These little filters, they just snap out. They have a little thing right here. Let me see, zoom in a little. They have a little tab right here that you just push down on and pop them out. Let's see what it looks like. 
and yes, lint will build up on the machine also. So we're going to clean that off. Okay. And then these little traps open. I'm trying to do all this one-handed. Lay it up here. There we go. And as you can see, it's not bad. It's not really dirty. So, snap it back together. And then place it back in its spot. <clears throat> There you go, snap back in. And uh, another cool feature that this machine has is an ultraviolet light. Ultraviolet antibacterial light. So that really helps get your clothes clean. Oh darn, it's not catching it. It <laughs> glows in the dark. <laughs> See the light under the lid? I also want to mention that not only is this great for RV living, this is great for dorm living, apartment living, any dwelling where you need a really good mini washer. This thing is awesome. It really is. Okay, so here is the link to where I got the washer, and they have categories on septic, accessories, drying, and washing. So I'll click on washing, and here, oh wow, they went down on the price a little bit, cool. So here is the washer that I've been featuring. They have now dropped the price to $199. It was $215 to $205, now dropped down to $199. There's a mega spinner now. It's a big one, I guess. But this is the one I have. And it works fabulously. So there you go. There's um, the products that I have gotten from The Laundry Alternative. And I highly, highly recommend these products if you're into uh, saving money and you don't like laundry mats like I don't. And you can do your laundry at home, or in my case, by my RV or in my RV.